Hello everybody, it's great to see you again. Welcome to another Buckskins and Bows video. Uh, our quest to harvest a white-tailed deer from the ground using primitive uh, archery equipment, uh, no camo, buckskin clothing uh, continues. In our previous hunts, Mother Nature has not been helping us out. Uh, the temperatures were very, very warm for this time of year, which limited the deer movement and uh, did not help us at all. Uh, the temperatures have come down, but as you can probably hear in the background, uh, the rain has started and we had heavy heavy thunderstorms and rain last night our little creek here is way up uh, everything is soaking wet the rain continues so right now our hunt is on hold so, uh, it's still raining there's some movement to the air you can see the leaves are starting to move a little bit uh, so there is some some weather change happening Hopefully uh, the weather clears up and we can get back out hunting either tomorrow or the next day. As you can see and hear, the weather did not improve as I predicted yesterday. Uh, it's pretty much the same. <laughs> Rain. It rained all night last night, uh, it, um, and it looks like it may rain all day today. Uh, so I think our bow hunt is on hold for now. Let's get out of the rain and uh, go over to the lean-to. So uh, I returned from a, a hunt like this and uh, inevitably one of my non-hunting friends uh, will, will always inquire, did you get a deer? Did you get a deer? And uh, most of the time I answer no. Uh, and they mean well. They just don't. They just don't understand the difficulty in, in taking a deer uh, with this type of equipment. And 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 they'll always say something like, "Well, I was in the backyard the other day in in suburbia, and and there were deer eating my shrubs." And well, they just don't understand that um, hunting in the wild with um, the type of equipment that that I'm using. Uh, is, is not a slam dunk. I mean, it's just not. Uh, or they'll say something like, well, I was driving down the expressway and, uh, and boy, there were deer all over the place. Well, <laughs> you can't hunt the expressway. You can't hunt the backyard in suburbia. Uh, so <laughs> it's just the it's just, uh, way it goes. So I, I always try to tell them, you know, uh, no, but I had, I had a good hunt or, or, you know, when I am successful, I try to try to share that with them uh, and it's one of the reasons why I, I've been putting together some of these videos even though uh, some of these hunts are not successful is to, is to show a realistic um, view of hunting yeah, even if you're hunting with modern equipment uh, there are no givens in hunting I mean uh, hunting is is a um, it's a challenge I mean whether or not you're hunting with a with a modern rifle or a primitive muzzle loader or a compound or a crossbow or a, a self bow it's not easy it's not easy and um, you know mother nature throws uh, things at you like the, the recent rain and the, the hot weather early in the season so I think it's important to, to show everybody a realistic view of hunting. Um, I think if, if more 
people were to show the amount of hours that it goes into being a successful hunter, it would help. It would help the, the image of hunters, uh, you know, uh, these some of these shows, I know they mean well and they're, and they're trying to sell products and all, but they're, they're painting an unrealistic view of hunting and not every hunt is like the, the hunt you see on, on your favorite TV show and um, it's, it's just not that way. So, uh, you know, maybe for that, that 30 second clip that, that uh, the, some big name TV hunter uh, featured, uh, it might have taken them uh, uh, a year, a year of sitting in stands not seeing anything or passing up on, uh, on deer in order to get that deer and then some young impressionable uh, hunter or a, uh, a non-hunter sees that and they go, well, there's nothing to that hunting, it's, it's easy. Well, it's not easy. Um, as we as we hunters know, it's not easy, and um, you gotta you gotta put your hours in in order to be successful. So until next time, everybody, take care, be good, and thanks for watching.